from Tantra Fitness and this is Between Two Poles and today we have Acro Brandon with us. I'm totally kidding. I was <laughs> totally kidding. I was like, we just <laughs> talked about this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm teasing him because he often gets confused with Acro Brandon. This is not Acro Brandon. This is Brandon Grimm um, visiting us here at Tantra Fitness from LA, thank you so much for coming and blessing us with your incredibleness. Oh, Is you. that a word, incredibleness? Incredibleness, so. yeah. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. All I know about you and all I hear about you is that you are like so graceful and so beautiful. And of course I've watched your videos and mm. you are such an amazingly smooth and strong dancer. Mm. How did you get into pole dancing? That's my first question okay. for you. Um, I got into pole dancing by accident. Okay. I was so, I mean, I could go through my entire back history. Sure. Maybe we'll do that later. Okay. We'll just do that now. Why not? <laughs> so I started gymnastics when I was five. Okay. Um, and then when I was nine, I was on like the playground at summer camp. And one of my camp counselors was like, Brandon, you can't tumble on the grass. So you're going to hurt yourself. Mm. Come to the dance studio. Like you can tumble there all you want. So I went to the dance studio and I took uh, gymnastics classes there for a couple years. And then they tricked me into dancing. Mm. They were like, Brandon, why don't you take this boy's hip hop class? <laughs> and then it was like, Brandon, why don't you take this class? You're already here. You might as well stay. Mm. So they sort of tricked me into dancing and then finally into like ballet and lyrical and the whole shebang. So I started competing. I wish someone would have tricked me like that. Oh, it was mean. It was mean, <laughs> but I'm so fortunate for it. So like 13 years old, started competing and did uh, national competitions. In, in dance? In dance and like a little bit of acrobatics. Like okay. I tumbled in dance pieces, but it was mostly yeah. just dance. Then when I moved to college, I went to New York. Um, I found Ariel there. I was taking class at a dance studio. And one of my friends was doing silks. And I was like, that sounds like fun. I'm going to go do that. So I met up with all the circus community in New York City. And one of my friends, Olga, was an um, ex-rhythmic gymnast. So she taught flexibility classes. Mm -hmm. And her flexibility class just happened to be at the very first body and pole on Fifth mm -hmm. Avenue. Cool. So I go in and I'm like, this is kind of nifty. And then started playing around. Some of the very first people I met were Kira, Marlo, and David Owen. Hmm. So like some of the top of the business were like the people that I first met, like, hi, nice, I don't even know who you are. Oh, and they must have been so excited. I, I know I got excited. I didn't know who they were. <laughs> like they were just other humans to me. Of course. Like they were just other people. Yeah. Fast forward a couple years later, I moved to LA and I wasn't really into pole. I was dabbling still about three years ago. And then when I was in the dance company, I was taking classes a little bit more at Beast Bun here and there. And then finally when I left the dance company, like I sort of went like full force into it. Mm. And that was about two years ago. Nice. And I meant like they could have been, they were probably excited because I know when I see potential in somebody, because mm -hmm. um, the first time I met Tara Meyer. Do you know who Tara oh, Meyer yeah, is? Of course. Yeah. So she, she actually was in a competition and she was like the same thing. She comes from like a lyrical background. Mm -hmm. It hadn't done much pull, but when I saw her, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. like the potential. And you see when people have potential like that. So mm -hmm. when they have that natural strength and, and all the background. Yeah. Kira was like, I see you. Yeah. Like, come here, come here, yes. child. Yeah. And I was like, yes. See, I believe in like fate in the universe. Yeah. And, so. and even now I go back to body and pole, at least I try and get back there once a year and it's literally going home. Like yeah. you were meant to be a pole dancer. I think so. Like my, my journey <laughs> literally led me on this path of like gymnastics, dance, aerial, pole. Because what I wasn't happy about aerial and like fabric and net and straps is you're not expected to dance on the ground. So I was wasting 20 years of training on floor work. Right. And just being in the air. And then when I found pole, I was like, wait. Yeah. You want me to do stuff down here and up there? Mm. Cool. Yeah. So you got yourself to deal. It just fit. Yeah. It just fit. So it is your favorite apparatus then? It is right now. Yeah. And I've even turned down like other gigs. I'm like, I just want to do pole now. Cool. Like, and do you mostly compete? Do you mostly perform? You just like to, to do it all? I, like, is this, this is your gig. This I is your thing, right? I mostly teach. And mostly I actually teach. don't mostly teach pole. I mostly teach flexibility, contortion, and hand balancing at a circus school in So I'm Los assuming Angeles. you're kind of flexible. No. <laughs> No. I just, no, because I'm, I just teach. I just teach those who just can't. Just do as I say. Those who can't teach. <laughs> um, well, I, I've always been doing partner stretching since I was 13, since right. I was a kid. Right. So I've always been really cognizant of, and I was always taught like how to stretch others and how to be stretched. Can you do the splits? I can do the splits. <laughs> so you're flexible. <laughs> I'm not like 
Russian flexible. Okay. We're not like Anastasia. It's funny how Spitova. Russia has its own. Because they're like superhumans. It's true. We have a Russian teacher here and she scares people. So yeah. Yeah, so we figure we can't have her teach the curriculum. We're going to give her her own class just called, like, Russian craziness or something. Russian technique. (laughs) Where they just yell at you for an hour. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's funny. That that teaching experience is so important because, as we both know, just because you can do does not mean you can teach. Absolutely. And I hear over and over that you are an amazing teacher. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good to hear. So is that that your kind of, I mean, what are you going to do when you grow up? (laughs) Oh, <laughs> uh, well, being almost 30, I'm almost, I'm almost grown up, I think. Okay. Um, I want to get into really directing, like, artistic direction and, like, art direction. Okay. Is where my, my real passion is, is I love doing research and background history on things and really diving into what makes a piece or a show, like, what it is. Yeah. So when I did Miss Pole Dance America um, this past May in Nashville, I have folders upon folders upon folders on my computer of like images mm. and like inspiration for characters, set pieces. So uh, when you say you makeup. did, you competed? Yeah, I competed in Miss Bold Dance America. Okay, did you have any As sort a group. of? I had a group. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it was called uh, Wonderland and we're actually doing it at Expo. Oh, in, awesome. Uh, yeah, on Thursday, the Thursday of Expo, the 10th. Okay. So inspiration for like makeup, wigs and hair, costume, set pieces, um, Everything like. So you're gonna create your own I, show. I hope to one day. Like yeah, I wanna. Sure. Like that's what I love doing. I love being like the artistic creation side of it. Mm-hmm. I don't really consider myself a choreographer per se. Right. Because it's really hard for me to take what I do and put it on someone else. Right. I like to see what other people do and then mold that into something that's going to make them even better. That's awesome. Versus someone trying to do my technique because my technique has 20 years of training behind it. Right. It's going to be very, very hard. Yeah. But, you know, take someone that can do their style really well, give it a little zhuzh, and I think it gets a magic. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That sounds fun. So do you want to still be in the performance aspect, or do you want to get behind the scenes kind of thing? Eventually, I'm going to take a step back and go behind the scenes, because I know that physically, this can only last for so long. Yeah. And I don't know if that could be three years, five years, ten years. Who knows? But eventually I like to, you know, take a step back and just create on other people. Right. And that's a lot of pressure. I mean, you always have to be, like, strong and in shape. Like, don't you ever just want to, like, lay around and oh, all the time. eat pizza and just get fat? <laughs> I, I do. I, I, I do just sit at home and eat pizza. People are like, like what do you do for fun? <laughs> nothing. I do absolutely nothing for really? fun. Really? Yeah. I so sit at home you, and I eat pizza for fun. And are you single? Do you have a, a significant other? I do not. I am single, single, hopelessly, for many, many years. I think I've just gotten really good at being on my own. Mm. That it's... And I know I'm an intimidating person. Like, bald head. Like, <laughs> just, I, I look... I hate to say it, but I look like the Aryan nation. And, like, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, you know, I think I'm a nice person. I think you're very sweet. I think so. This is the first time I've met you. Yes. You're not intimidating me. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, let me put on the face. Just like, oh yeah, I see that. You see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It can go really, yeah. really sour really yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, when you first walked in the door, I was like, oh, and then you're like, hi. And I'm like, okay, he's sweet. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta, just gotta give me a smile. That's all, that's all yeah, it takes. Okay. okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for for coming here and for taking the time. And um, where where you are you teaching somewhere right now? Uh, I teach at Beastbun in uh, LA, and then I also teach at Cirque School LA. Awesome. In LA. In LA. (laughs) (laughs) So if you want to come and uh, meet Brandon Grimm, (laughs) um, then yeah, you can find him at Beastbun and and Cirque School LA. Yep. And And what apparatus do you teach there? I mostly teach the flexibility, advanced flexibility, contortion, hand balancing, and I sub out um, acrobatics and tumbling. I so want to come. I want to come. I want to get flexible. Will you stretch me? Will you stretch me? Oh, please. (laughs) I, I, that's That's it. That's all I got today. He's totally faking it. You're right. (laughs) Well, thank you. Thank Thank you you so much. Thank you so much.